Mike, it's time to dine and dash on this Thursday morning. We have May Pike in the studio from Home Cuisine. In May 4th of July, a lot of the holiday is about the food and tons of food. But what do you do with all the leftovers? Well, this is a great thing to do with all the leftovers because it's totally different than what you're probably thinking, which is just a leftover sandwich. Yeah, so, um, so we're spicing it up a we're little spicing bit. We're spicing it up a little bit. And it won't feel like lefters, leftovers because it's so totally different than mm -hmm. what you served the night before. So what we're doing is a um, low-fat pasta salad with shrimp. Uh -huh. So we're starting with a um, whole wheat penne, which gotcha. gives it a really great flavor. It's kind of, it's a little gummier and it's mm -hmm. kind of nutty. I love it. I love it. Now, if people normally don't cook with wheat pasta, uh -huh. how would you describe that to them? I personally like it. It's yeah. very good, but it's different. It has a different taste. The it, texture's a little different. The texture's a little bit different. It's almost like it, it has a little tooth to it, mm -hmm. a little bit, um, I don't know how you would explain it. It, it tastes healthier to me. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Me too. What um, do we have there? Okay, this is just some diced up celery. Uh-huh. And we have some English cucumbers. I like those because they're not waxed. Uh-huh. Regular cucumbers, they put a coat of wax on them, which is something that you want to avoid. So if you use regular cucumbers, peel them. Gotcha. English cucumbers are okay. fine. Okay. Um, diced up red onion. You always cook with onions. I gives always a, cook with gives onions. Gives a little punch. I like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And, you know, it's a great way to... Anytime you can get any kind of vegetable in your food, do it. Yeah. Because it bulks it up, and it's basically free calorically. Um, so this is uh, red pepper, which is also a great thing. I think it's nice to have a lot of different colors. Uh -huh. It just is really, it, it's appealing to, to all of your senses that way. Typically, when you have a lot of colors in there, you're eating a lot of healthy food. Absolutely. You know, I more. agree with that. These are some capers. Now, capers are great. Mm -hmm. um, these are little pickled buds from a flower. You gotcha. didn't know that. And be careful um, when, you're, when you're seasoning, when you're using capers, because they are so salty yeah. by nature that you, want to, you don't want to oversalt that way. Gotcha. Okay. Um, What's this? This dill? is dried dill. Mm, I'm getting better at this. You yeah. are getting good. Yeah. You're a natural. I, I don't know. I'm learning. <laughs> Give me about a year and I'll figure it out. You're doing a great job. Out. Um, so we'll put in that dill. And I like to mix it all together dry, mm -hmm. just so that you can make sure you coat everything. Whoops. Okay. Get away pepper. Gotcha. We um, good? And then the shrimp these in are there? the grilled shrimp. Now, if you have some um, how about chicken? Chicken leftover. You know, this would be good even with steak. Uh huh. If sure. If you have some veggie burgers, throw them in. Whatever. Anything yeah. you have is great. If you have some grilled salmon, that would be wonderful in this. How about um, hot dogs? Hot dogs may be pushing a you little. You get a bit. pass. You try that. And let me know how it works out. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm a pass on the hot dog. <laughs> okay, so we have here some. Um, Fat-free plain yogurt, uh -huh. and this gives it a little bit of kick, and it's great with what what we're working with with these flavors because it's a little bit acidic and it tastes really nice with this. Lemon um, juice. A little bit of lemon juice. Now I fresh squeezed this this morning, and I'm a big fan of of cutting down on time when cooking. Yeah. But fresh squeeze citrus, it, you can't go wrong. I mean, it just the extra effort makes such a difference. Low-fat mayonnaise? Low-fat mayonnaise. This is actually fat-free mayonnaise. Fat, oh, okay. Um, I, I usually use low-fat with things like this, but these flavors are so intense uh -huh. that it kind of masks that sort of weird fat-free flavor uh -huh. with all of the dill and lemon and all the good stuff that's in here. So this, it, just by using the um, plain yogurt and the fat-free mayonnaise, you're saving mm -hmm. 370 calories a serving, and you're using up all your old stuff. So if you have some, um, you know, some grilled squash mm -hmm. or anything like that, throw it in. All because right. pasta salad will take take just about anything. May Pike from Home Cuisine, thank you very much. Thanks we were so cooking, much for having yeah, me. Yeah, a wheat pasta uh, with our leftovers from Fourth of July. If you want more information, you can just go to our website, wdrb.com. May is with Home Cuisine. They cook nutritious, fresh meals. They also have home delivery options. Uh, their number is on your screen there.